What is the best advice you've ever been given? Probably from Dr. Gordon whenever he told me that I should not give up on doing what I've always wanted to do. Whenever I retired, I, I didn't know for sure what I was going to do in the boys, but I have two sons that were raised in that newspaper, and they knew what a demanding job it was, and they knew the kind of hours that I'd put in. They asked me what I was going to do, and I said, well, you know, I see Michelle up there working at night and Sundays, and I said, I may just drop in and bother her. Well, I never thought that anything would, I never thought anything about that, except that the Carters were at my house for dinner. Dave's story had told them that I had decided to retire, and I was going to retire in March. That's when my time was up, but I still had like 75 days of vacation because my sports editor had been sick and I'd had to work f through doing everything for a while. Mm -hmm. So that night after they, le after they left, Michelle Carter called me and she said, if I can get the budget, would you be willing to come to work part-time in public relations? And I said, yes. And, of course, that's at the Will Rogers Memorial. That was at the Will Rogers Memorial. And she you're was still in, here. That was in 2004. <laughs> my time was up in, in I, I started my started my time in February, and we went to Texas and, and did some uh, clean closets, and we just kind of did a few fun things. I've always traveled a lot, but I was able to do that and work. But... When we got back from Texas, and first of March I, in 2004, I went to work here. The Will Rogers Memorial doing there. 